look, essentially, <laughs> we're pretty much there. Um, it's half past, it's half past five. I, I am properly in trouble now. Uh, I've got a, a bunch of keys. Well, there's two that look usable. There's that one there, and this could be quite nice as well. So, well, no, it won't work because I can't get it off. <laughs> I don't even know how I got that on there. All right, uh, I have some strings here. This is an historic moment. I have never built an instrument this fast. The best I've ever done was, oh, I might even need a, yeah, this is gonna rest on there. I'm gonna need a bar or something there, so I'm gonna need two, two keys. I do want this one. Um, Basically, you wonderful dear followers. <laughs> oh, crikey, how cheesy can one get? Um, here we go. So, what's that gonna do? Is that gonna make any difference whatsoever? That might well there. Yeah, alrighty. So we've got a key there. No, it's not big enough. Okay, I'm gonna string this up a little bit and then we'll go from there. And then figure out what's happening with the bridge. It's gonna need a, a plate or something to make it uh, big enough. <laughs> she breathes. Okay. Okay, my scale is 647, I think. Hold on. Three, two, four, six, four, eight, yeah. So very roughly, I've just put a little pencil mark there. That's roughly where the bridge needs to go. Um, is that key tall enough? It might actually well be. Uh, another couple of strings. So, well, my goodness. I did not think I would be doing this today. Okay, so my nut idea is perfectly uh, a valid idea, but my break angle isn't enough. So, uh, so these slots aren't actually guiding the strings in the slightest. What I need to do is something else. So, 25. 25 to 6. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Wrap it around. Before I fix the nut, quickly, I'm going to fix my bridge. 
where one key will not do, maybe three will. Hmm. <laughs> Let's have a look. Now, you guys go around that way. And I'm gonna have to loosen these strings up a little bit more. I currently have in my mouth a very, very old, very dirty key. And in the background, they're testing a, a guitar that has to go out this evening. I think I think that that one might be a bit high. So this is that. So third time lucky. I don't even know what tuning this is supposed to be in. I, I have no idea. What was that? I think it's G. He's, somebody's saying G. Um, so, well. Uh, those are a little bit high, so let's put you down there. Yeah, that'll do. All right, I'm gonna fix this nut very quickly. I'm just gonna use some uh, some screws just to hold the strings where I want them which uh, well should work hopefully <laughs> I am completely, completely extemporizing now. <sighs> I really don't know. Let's, uh, Okay, come on then. There you go. This should work. If I had the right screwdriver. And then we'll need to find a tuner. Okay, honestly, I would not be doing this if it wasn't for the fact that um, I, I need to finish this instrument. I would make a nut. In fact, I might well come back. <sighs> Cut this whole screw thing off and make a nut. Then again, you know, that is actually being held in place. Yeah, there's no movement there. Uh, there's, there's no real reason why this can't work. Um, now, I have seen threaded rod used a lot um, for these uh, cigar box guitars. And I think that also might be a good option. The issue I've got with, these, with this 
is that uh, stringing up is going to be a nightmare. All right, I'm going to figure out what the tuning should be. Um, we've gone for a GD something. GD, eh? GDB. Um, I am completely and utterly, I've lost my mind. I thought that running a company was hard. Building this in, it is quarter, it's a quarter to six, it's a quarter to six, and we have an instrument. <laughs> I want to put a sound port in the top here so I can hear it better. I cannot tell you how awesome I feel. <laughs> give me a plectrum, somebody give me a plectrum. Did you destroy your bench? Ah, it's only a bench. This is a cigar box guitar. I need to learn how to play. I'm gonna take this home and practice. The sound. My intonation's off. How terrible. Quite a lot. <laughs> I need to sort the intonation out. Look, basically it is a quarter to six. I started this at, I don't know, we'll tell you. Uh, it was gonna be three and a half hours if I finished at five. Four hours, four hours and 15 minutes. I have never built, ever, a cigar box instrument at all. I want to fix this intonation here. Um, and I have an instrument I can take over. My kids aren't going to know that the intonation's out. Let's have a quick look at what it actually looks like. There's the clock. Uh, here's the guys that are still just laughing at my failure. And uh, there's this. <laughs> They're horrible. Uh, the clock. I love them really. The clock says, well, I finished it at a quarter to six, which means that I'm going to be late. Um, where's my focus? So here we go. Um, my strings are eating into the side of the box there, which is a slight issue. I really like actually leaving that rustic um, gouge in there. My cool bridge, which needs the intonation sorted out. F-holes. Side dots. And I'm getting caught up on all my wires now. I'm not too sure about the uh, <laughs> headstock shape, but you know, it works. And basically, well, let's get my wires out of the way. I'm really, really happy with this. So uh, if you have ever wanted to build a cigar box guitar, it's pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna do to this one. I'm gonna keep this one as is, maybe sort the nut out a little bit, but I'm not gonna make electric. I have really had this much fun at work, which considering I build guitars for a living and the other half of my time is spent designing tools, and I love guitars and I love tools. This, this, was, this was awesome. Um, now look, go away, make yourself a... It's awesome. Okay, we, we sell the tools. Check out crimsonguitars.com forward slash shop for that if, if you're interested. We are, I'm seriously considering now actually making kits. If you want a slotted fretboard or a, or a, a kit, or, I'm, I have got the bug. All right, we are, actually, do you know what? I'm the boss, this is my company. We are going to start 
building kits for cigar box guitars with real cigar boxes and we'll, we'll supply you guys with slotted fretboards and neck blanks and um, I don't know, bridges or you know, transducer things. There's, there's, you know, all sorts. It's been in the back of my mind for about six months and having built this, I am completely and utterly 100% sold. Hey, I should use a key as a plectrum. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm having too much fun here. All right, I I'm going home now because, um, look darling, I just made a cigar box guitar. Please don't kill me and we'll see what happens. Um, my wife is wonderful and she's gonna watch this, so I'm gonna get more in trouble for constantly mentioning her, I think, than anything else. But look, um, please, if you've liked this video, I suppose, do you know what? This is about 40, 42 gigabytes of footage that I've just filmed in the last four and a bit hours. Uh, this is gonna be a series. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, please click like, please click subscribe, please comment below and uh, um, if you've ever built a, a cigar box instrument or um, out of a petrol can or something, I don't know, you know share, share links and images and things in the comments below. This is awesome. Um, check out crimsonguitars.com if you would, wouldn't mind going and buying some of the fantastic tools we make. Um, they are useful and awesome and wondrous and I would say that, but hey. Um, but anyway, look, thank you very much for watching. This has been truly awesome. I am... I'm in an incredibly good mood. Um, so thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> I've never had applause. Fail. Fail, I failed.